Cracker Barrel began, you know, 40 years ago. Uh, you know, the founder's idea was to try to recreate the feel and atmosphere of the old country stores that he had gone to when he was growing up. This is where we house, do all the purchasing, restoration, and design for all the antiques that we use in the Cracker Barrel stores around the country. You know, there's uh, probably 100,000 items in here right now, so when we have a store coming up, we'll come up with our themes that we want to put in that store, uh, and we it's kind of like going through almost like a library. You know that certain things are in certain areas. We know where to go in the warehouse, and those guys go through, uh, pull those items. We have mock walls in our in our warehouse that we design and set them all up. We, we buy from auctions and flea markets and we have a network of antique dealers around the country that we uh, contact and they contact us. My mother and father, which were local antique dealers, if they'd help him you know find artifacts to go into the stores. So uh, in 1969 uh, that they did the first Cracker Barrel here in Lebanon. Over the course of, you know, the years I've been here, I've seen things that I didn't know what they were. You know, it just always kind of amazed me. People's ingenuity for taking something and trying to make it a little bit better. You know, we're trying to preserve the items. We're not trying to make them look new or anything. So we'll just determine whether we just need to clean them up and, and you know, uh, finish them and protect them as best we can. Country stores, you know, go back 150 years, so you know we've we've got a pretty long time frame we can pick from.